shoot, hit his leg. And it's whistled a kick. Let me ask you guys here, going back to the Celtics, eliminated by the Heat in five games uh, in the playoffs, Clark, are they still a factor in the East? Mm -hmm. Steve? Oh, yeah, they're still a factor. I mean, uh, you know, Miami is so good right now, but remember Boston had an excellent regular season. They've got plenty of talent. They've got some good young players with uh, Rondo and Jeff Green. And Boston will still be a major player in the Eastern Conference this year. Kevin Garnett with the steal. You can't get too loose with the ball down on the low post. Too easy to steal it. I'll go to Doris Burke, who spoke with Tom Thibodeau. Doris? Yes, Kevin. He said, we're a very clever team without the ball. And I'm betting we force our share of turnovers in the open floor and take them right out of their game plan. Obviously, no shortage of confidence about their defensive capabilities, guys. Thank you very much, Doris. So it's mainly uh, Clark and Steve about defense for them early on. Well, you know what I mean? It's pretty simple. The fewer points you allow, the fewer you have to score for yourself. I mean, that's elemental. Yeah, and particularly in this game, I think it makes sense. I mean, establish the defensive end of the floor. Uh, try to convert some buckets in transition off your defense. And try to take control of the game that way. I thought Kevin Garnett really bounced back last season and, and looked better physically. Remember, the knee issues have been a problem over the years, but looked great last year and is always the key to that Celtics defense. Here's Boozer. No good. So Boston will take it the other way. Now Rondo. Boozer picks him up. Rondo dishes to Allen. Here's O'Neal. Rebound by the Bulls. And for Kevin Garnett, among uh, active players, uh, you know, the second most career minutes played after Jason Kidd. So, Clark, he's got some miles on that O'Donnell. Yeah, he does. But last season, he upped his numbers across the board, Kevin. I mean, he may not play till he's 40, but with his size and fire for the game, I think he's still got plenty in the fuel tank. Who's it? And he lays it up and in. That's right where they wanted to go with the ball on that possession. Rondo kicks to Allen. Three-pointer. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Allen's got five now. Here's Rose. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Big time is right, Clark. A lot of momentum here offensively. Now here's Noah. And Boozer backs in. Shoots it. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Celtics leading by five. Now here's Rondo. It's a look. And Garnett gets it to go on the assist by O'Neal. I think we could see them put up some big numbers if they keep shooting like this. I mean, four or five early, and they look focused and locked in. Now here's Boozy. Now Garnett defending. And Boozer backs in. Dang passes to Rose. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, and you knew it was coming for Derrick Rose. Already a great player, but he took a huge step forward last season. Probably became the best point guard in the NBA. Phenomenal campaign for the Chicago Bulls. It really improved his three-point shooting, which was just amazing. The first one falls. We're talking about Rose, and Steve just talked about some of the things that he thinks about him and his rise to stardom. And Clark, he's had all the tools since day one. But he really obviously put it all together last season in what was an MVP, very special season. Do you, do you think right now he is the best point guard in the league? I don't know if I'd say he's the best. He's certainly in that category, no doubt. He's a different type of point guard, though. When you look at his athleticism, his size, his speed, love his demeanor, and he's so young, you can continue to see him grow and develop. But certainly, you've got to talk about Chris Paul. Darren Williams, and I think it's a matter of what flavor you like in your point guard. Sure. He's more of a scoring presence at the point, and I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. He's not the kind of setup guy that Paul or Nash or Williams is, but that's okay. Variety is fine. Really good work defensively. This coach has to be happy with his team. 
Yeah, forcing that miss right there. Great effort. Goes up low, and he sails in for the layup. You know, he always gets the ball in the right spot down there, Kevin, because he excels at doing his work early and establishing that position inside. The pass to Christich. Working on Noah. Goes up the baseline. Christich, no good. Cannot count on him to miss a good look like that very often. Hooser dishes to Rose. Dang, dang, dang. Now Pierce defending. Fader on the way. It's Hooser missing. Yeah, he struggled with his shot this quarter, and he's got to find a groove somehow. He feeds it to Noah. And Boozer backs in. Second chance shot. Deflected by Garnett. Right now, he's in a bit of a funk. I look for them to look at other options on offense. Now here's Rondo. He's tightly guarded. Let's it go from deep. Derek Rose grabs the miss. Bulls trail by three. Thibodeau really connected with the players on the Bulls roster early on. I mean, Derek Rose attributed the huge jump in his game and what he made defensively to the coaching of Tom Thibodeau. Now here's Rose. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Puts up a three. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Celtics ball. Here's Rondo. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Garnett with a screen on Rose. They need this one. And Garnett misses. Well, Clark, and it just wasn't Rose, as you mentioned. I mean, the whole team bought into his coaching philosophy. And, Steve, you've always said, Clark has too, that when the best player follows, everybody else will follow.